Welcome to Unit 2. Here we're going to be looking at designing your visual helpers. That is the thing that I think most people spend most of their time on. The problem with this is I think a lot of time is wasted time. Actually, the visual helpers is just a way to help make your ideas easy to understand, make them easy to flow and have your audience follow your system. A way to easily make your main point. But rather what I see many people do is make very fancy PowerPoint slides. Why? Well, because PowerPoint lets you push buttons and put in little pictures and animations and flying around and page turning and sparkles. This is very distracting. And this is very hard to emphasize that actually the best way to make your main point is to have your main point be simple. You don't even need a slide. You can just have a black background and you can just draw a picture with your hand if it can make your point clear. You know, if we're talking about your statistical results, you just need to have your audience understand that A is larger than B. If you're trying to describe some scientific technique, some kind of genetic manipulation of some plant, you just need to say, what was the problem and what did I solve? What did I overcome? What did I achieve? Those are very simple on a slide, just an idea, a point, a graph, a line. But when you have your slides flying around and changing and moving and colors moving, there are many problems with this. Not least of which is when you're making your presentation, it's distracting. The audience doesn't know what's happening. And remember, the best presentation is the one that's short, gets right to the main point. So if you get quickly to the main point, but your slides are flying all around, people are a little bit confused. They're missing your main point. So in this unit, we're going to be looking at what are some of the main points to help you make your visual helpers or your slides or whatever you use for helping. So the objectives in this unit include keep visual helpers simple and clear. This is something I can never emphasize enough. Simple and clear. Find out where to get graphics. Now, lots of times we have graphics we pull in from the internet, but this is problematic. And so it's another reason that I think actually you should be careful about making too many pictures or graphics in your presentation if you're grabbing them from the internet. They should be coming from your research. And if you can't find interesting pictures, then maybe just don't use any. Just keep your ideas very clear with words. I don't know, it's just an, an idea that I think can work pretty good actually, if we think about it. Next, we're going to look at understanding the tools that present visual helpers. Not just PowerPoint is the only tool, there are other tools too. We're going to cover the basics of graphic design. That is, the very basics. We don't want to make things complicated. We want to keep things basic. And we're going to be looking at visual aids in general. What other kinds of visual aids are there? Many people understand things by seeing them, by pictures, right? The visual aids get attention of your audience while they also make the presentation shorter. Now, how can they make a presentation shorter? You can make your presentation shorter because you're actually using some big words or pictures or lines or graphics to tell your main point. So you don't need to keep repeating it or explaining it. So the graphic aids are a way to save time, not to add time. And this is a problem I see many people have. They use a graphic aid and then they spend all their time explaining the graphic. But actually the graphic is extra to help make things easier, not to make things harder. People see a picture and understand its meaning in just a few seconds. If you have to explain the picture, if you need to talk more, 
that's probably not a good graphic.